Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about producing bar charts and pie charts using R. Bar charts and pie charts are appropriate for summarizing the distribution of a categorical variable. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. First, let's discuss the bar chart. This can be produced using the bar plot command. You can access the help menu by typing help and in brackets inserting the name of the command you'd like help for, or by simply throwing a question mark in front of the name of the command. Before producing the bar chart, let's remind ourselves that a bar chart is a visual display of the frequency for each category of a categorical variable or the relative frequency or percentage for each category. The frequency table can be produced using the table command in R. Let's go ahead and make the frequency table for the variable gender. Here we can see that we have 358 females and 367 males in our sample. Let's go ahead and store this in an object called count for use later. We can see the table is now stored in this object count. We may also wish to express the bar plot using relative frequencies or percentages. So let's go ahead and calculate these as well. We can see that there are 725 observations in our data set. We can divide the table by 725 to have these expressed as percentages or relative frequencies. We can see that our sample consists of about 49.4% females, 50.6% males. Let's go ahead and save this in an object called percent for use later. Now we can produce the bar chart using the bar plot command. Let's produce it first for our counts or frequencies. Now, let's take a look at this same plot, but using the percentages or relative frequencies. We can add a title to this plot using the main argument within the plot command. We can also label the x-axis using the xlab argument, as well as the y-axis using the ylab argument. I also like to rotate the values on the y-axis using the LAS argument and setting this equal to 1. To change the names or labels appearing under each of the bars, we can use the names.arg argument. Here we can insert the names we'd like to appear under each of the bars. We'll go ahead and use female and male as the labels. Finally, if you would like the bars to appear horizontally rather than vertically, this can be achieved using the HORIZ argument and setting this equal to true. We should also make sure to change our X and Y label as these are now going to appear on opposite axes. To learn more about changing colors or other things on this plot, explore the help menu in R. We can produce a pie chart using the pie command. As before, we can add a title using the main argument. If desired, one can also add a box around this plot using the box command. To learn more about changing colors and other things for this plot, explore the help menu. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.